And this question shows a diagram showing an isosceles triangle touching two parallel lines. We've got to work out the size of angle X. And I can see angle X down here on the diagram. Now the first calculation that I'm able to do is using angles on a straight line. I can see that this top of this triangle here forms a straight line with the two given angles. So I can find that angle, let's call it A. I can find angle A by using the fact that there is 180 degrees on a straight line. So if I subtract 62 and subtract 80, that tells me that angle A is 38 degrees. So if angle A is 38 degrees, and I know that this is an isosceles triangle, then these two angles at the bottom, these base angles, will be the same. So I'm now going to subtract 38 from 180, and that leaves me with 142 degrees. And that tells me that these two base angles, let's call them B, these two base angles B will added together equal 142. So two base angles equals 142 degrees, then one base angle must equal 71 degrees. So each one of these base angles equals 71 degrees. I'm now going to use one of my parallel line rules, and I can see that we've got an alternate angle here. So angle X plus angle B must be the same as, as 80 degrees. So this angle here, 80 degrees, will equal the same as this angle here. Well, I know that angle B is 71 degrees. So in order to work out angle X, I would subtract 71 from 80. And that tells me that angle X equals 9 degrees.